Hi there and welcome to today's World Numismatic video on coinage from Alexander the Great. Regarded by many historians as the greatest military commander that ever lived, by the age of 32, Alexander III of Macedon had conquered and controlled most of the known world. At his untimely death in 323 BC, which, despite variant counts, was most likely from excessive drinking that led to illness or consuming unmixed wine, his empire spanned over three continents covering approximately two million square miles, incorporating parts of Asia, Africa, and Europe. The coinage of Alexander is as vast as the empire he controlled. Did you know that during his brief life, at least 25 different mints produced coinage in his name? As his empire grew and he conquered major cities, strategic mints often ceased production of the local coinage to strike coins in the name of Alexander and melted coins that bore the name of a deposed king. His coinage was met with such acceptance and was so widely circulated that mints continued production long after his death. The coinage of Alexander is exactly like modern U.S. coins. Okay, well not exactly, but stay with me on this because they are similar. Both are considered a unified coinage of standard type, which means that even though multiple mints produce these coins, the design is standard and there are only minor differences in the dies, the obvious being the symbols and monograms to distinguish the mint of manufacture. While the designs on the coins of Alexander are fairly simplistic, they carried a powerful message. The Afro's image on the majority of the silver issues contained the youthful head of Heracles wearing the skin of the Nemean lion. Wait, what? Well, Alexander often claimed he was a son of Zeus and compared himself to the fabled Greek heroes Achilles and Heracles. Humble, wasn't he? Some authors even hypothesize that the portrait of Heracles is actually Alexander himself. Humble, wasn't he? Turning the coins over, the reverse illustrations depict his dad, I mean Zeus, seated in a throne holding an eagle and scepter. Perhaps you've noticed that the gold coins of Alexander differ from their silver counterparts. It's true. With the exception of some of the fractional denominations, the obverse depicts a representation of the Greek goddess Athena, wearing a crested Corinthian-style helmet. Athena was primarily known for being the goddess of war and wisdom, and Alexander himself boasted those qualities, having been educated by Aristotle and undefeated on the battlefield. The reverse of these issues display Nike, the winged goddess of victory, holding a laurel wreath and stylus. Makes sense, right? Alexander, a successful general and victorious naval commander, would have undoubtedly been crowned by Nike. Looking for a more comprehensive study on the coins of Alexander? Maybe suggest listening to Iron Maiden's Alexander the Great. It's really quite phenomenal. We hope you've enjoyed today's World Numismatic video. See you next time!